Marbella, Europe's capital of luxury and glamour. A magical place where sun-kissed golden beaches meet the azure waves in a breathtaking dance. And where every sunset paints a different story. And it's right here, just five miles off its coasts, across the mountains and green valleys, where lies a residence unlike any other. Here timeless elegance and meticulous attention to detail have been taken to the new height. Hello everybody and welcome to this special episode. A home like this deserves a grand entrance and for this reason we would like to say a big thank you to Super Garage from Puerto Banos for providing us with this Lamborghini Hurricane to come in to this incredible property. This home once again proves itself to be an oasis of luxury and comfort, not only on the sunny days, but also on a day like today. But before we get started with the tour, I would like to thank Julian Collette from Sunset Hills Marbella for allowing us to tour this incredible property. Once again, welcome to the nest and to La Quinta. Let's get started with the tour. everybody we're gonna start the store from the exterior of the house we are very lucky because in the last minute since we did the introduction the Sun came out and now we've got a beautiful sunset going on so here we are at the exterior and your entrance to the house first of all we have this large black gate opening up into your covered garage parking space where you can easily fit two cars for example one Lamborghini Hurricane as we did and another one next to it so it has a nice home here you have these stone pieces with the LED lights underneath leading you up to the main entrance and to the grand door very heavy steel black door and the same one right opposite leading you to the entrance of this house welcome in Dima please come through but before we'll start exploring the inside of this property, I'm gonna take you guys to the outside space to show you the incredible sunset and all the outdoor facilities we've got in this house. Let's go. Coming out from the kitchen, we find ourselves in your first outdoor entertaining area and which is your dining area with seating for many. For 16, you can throw some real serious parties in this place and everything is ready as you can see starting from your plates, knives, forks, glasses, spoons and even two elephants in the middle. All the furniture in this outdoor space is Italian, talenti, including the barbecue, the kitchen and all the outside furniture which you'll be seeing as we go along. This covered area is connecting us with the grand swimming pool and the main entertainment zone of this house. Check out these views over here. We are at the top of La Quinta and for this reason we've got these incredible views. Golf course, mountains, sea views, palms, many different trees and all this nature around and you can see now we've got 7 p.m. October clouds passing by it was a little bit cloudy but now it's clearing out and I'm super happy for that we'll have a nice sunset all right now enough about the sunset and let's move on to this space where we've got some sun beds this Ibiza Tulum style maybe you could say that stepping forward for here we are in this outdoor kitchen a real outdoor kitchen. Check out this lamp. 
giving this little yellow light onto these nuts. Oh, these are biscuits, in fact. Here we have a barbecue. All the furniture and the barbecue as well is from an Italian brand, Talenti. You can see the quality, how these ceramics are closing off here and even on a rainy day like today, it's not a problem for this kitchen, it will handle everything. Plenty of storage over here, you've got fridge. Yes, Dima, if you come over here, we'll be able to show everybody this barbecue. All right, it's not even open yet, brand new. This property just hit the market last week, so we are one of the first people to be seeing it and I'm super happy for this reason. Check this out. You already have some plants which you can use in your in your food. I think this is rosemary. Correct me if I'm wrong. Dino doesn't know. Neither do I guys. I'm sorry. But what I do know is that we already have some food here ready to be used for the buyer who will purchase this property. Now let's step into the second part of this garden, which would be your second outdoor area. But whilst we're walking, actually, I forgot to mention, check out the steps in the swimming pool and the LED lights in the swimming pool. How cool does that look, right? So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six steps going down from the shallow part into the deep one with these LED lights. All the details and finishes in this house have been finished to the highest standards and everything, including furniture, bed linen, towels, and much more have been designed by Omeo, which is the designer of this house. We'll talk about this further during the video, but now let's step through into this outdoor zone before it gets dark. So I wanna show you also the views we get from here whilst we are doing this main shoot. All right, these two big palm trees, which make this house look really cozy. There is something about them that makes this house stand out from any others in this area. And you'll be able to see it in the drone shots. There are just these two palms and this gorgeous house behind with all this modern architecture, LED lights throughout the insides and the outsides. Now let's step into this recessed space. I'm not gonna sit down today because it's been raining, but I'm gonna stand here in the middle and talk about this gas fireplace. Turn on the button over here, click, and the fire runs and warms up your winter nights. Surround yourself with a circle of good friends, get some nice food, a little glass of wine or a Prosecco, and enjoy these views. How is that? I think it sounds like a good idea to have. Now stepping with this one, two, three, four, and reaching this covered outdoor area. Gorgeous, creamy, creamy beige color furniture, again from Omeo, and that was custom made especially for the nest. This one I'm gonna sit down just to check it out, and it feels incredible sitting here, I must say. With all these views, La Quinta is a very peaceful location, just being 10 minutes away from Puerto Banos, but at the same time, all this residential, secure community that you've got here in La Quinta. Now, all right, back to the tour, micro cement table, and even this little space implemented into this table, and guess why? Do you know why? It's for, for your drinks, for your bottles. Put in some ice, some glass bottles, and enjoy the freshness of your beverages. Now off to my right you have these roundly shaped kind of pebble stones which are leading you down to the garage space where we entered the house and where we began the tour with the car. So that's your outdoor zone. Now whilst we're walking back inside the house I want to also talk about the inbuilt sound system that we've got going throughout the whole of the house and not only inside but also outside check out the sonos speakers which are built in everywhere and are controlled by the demotica system called gira gira if you are from poland you would probably laugh a bit and now guys that is all for this outdoor area let's go back inside and check out the inside of this house 
All right, and here I am back at the entrance of the house. First of all, we've got this little entrance zone, which is your put on clothes and shoes area. This whole house was custom designed and made by Omeo Design, did pretty much everything except some light fixtures. Now off to my left, we have this aluminum feature wall, which acts as a divider between the staircase and this area, porcelanosa, porcelain tiles, as well as in the staircase, which we're gonna talk about very shortly. But before, let's step into this living dining area. Ta-da, I mean, first of all, let's look up and appreciate these ceiling moldings, which are incorpor incorporated throughout the whole of the space. And actually, the ceiling itself is a little bit of a different color than the moldings around it. So the ceiling is say, itself is a little bit of a grayish color. You can see that when you turn off the light, but when you've got them on, it just looks like this one beautiful space and very stylish, doesn't it? Now following through, here we have this L-shaped sofa, the gorgeous carpet, this kind of counter-livering table in the middle. Check out this table. It's gorgeous, isn't it? So we've got these trunks. They are actually recovered eucalyptus trunks. Trunks. As you can see, they're pretty large size. As well here as in the dining table, we will be able to see in a second. And the top is ash wood. Love the design. Love the colors. Now here again, we have the same material that we will be seeing in the staircase. This is porcelana porcelainic and with this stylish design. Underneath we have a real fireplace and here we have some real logs to be used to warm up your winter nights. Also, what do you think this is guys? Because all of us thought it's an actual painting when we came in here, but it's actually not. It's a TV. Did you know it's a TV? No. Dima didn't know. All right. On both of the sides of the chimney and the TV, you've got these built-ins with the indirect LED lighting, all these gorgeous decorations, and all that just makes the space look very welcoming and warm, makes you want to spend time in this living room. Now let's step further. On the other side of the sofa, we also have some nice um, decorations, as for example, this man with a six-pack but with no head. Mm, very sad, but unfortunately it happens a lot nowadays. And continuing through, on my right you are seeing the garden, which we've just seen. All the space, all the outside space, nicely shiny with the LED lights and the chandeliers from the outside. But all right, now we've reached the dining area and here we've got this large table with the recovered eucalyptus trunks. Tim, if you will be able to go low, and let's show everybody these large trunks, which you are also able to see it from here, actually. So check out the size. So this was one time an eucalyptus tree. And now it will be your dining table. Seating for eight, gorgeous chandelier above. This is actually marble. It's from Ichos. We've got seating for eight and one of each one of these chairs is made of deader fabric. It's one of the most exclusive fabric producers in the whole world. And actually Hermes boutiques are using the same fabric manufacturer. So pretty much you've got your chairs as if you were in the Hermes store. And also each one of them must weigh, um, must weigh 20 kilos, 100%. And the same one, happens the same thing happens in your kitchen these bar chairs one two three four bar chairs also from the same fabric manufacturer and now we've arrived at the heart of this home well at least of this level that's for sure and that is your grand luxury exclusive custom-made kitchen made by clive christian this kitchen itself was more than a hundred thousand the first time I saw it on the photos, I was like, I love it. Now let's start from the countertops. 
porcelain, the same material as the staircase, looks gorgeous, especially underlit with these indirect lightings. Here we have these black sockets, just kind of merging with all these little details. Here, nicely hidden. Oh, we've got some wind going on. Here on the left, kind of hidden little space for wines. And we've already got wines here. Valderora, 2016. So these wine guys come in with the house. When you move in, you will already have some wines waiting for you in your kitchen. Now let's move on and check out this Gaginau appliances throughout. And if we go lower, we'll be able to see, or well, maybe we won't, but I will tell you guys that these buttons and these handles are actually powder coated in antique brass to basically match the other details in this kitchen. I mean, how incredible is that? Gaginau and these antique brass little touches add up to the style of this kitchen. Continuing along, we have the seamless extractor built in over this space, matching with the countertops. Now on the other side, the main American style island with the seating for four on the opposite side. And check out the volume of this island. It's not a little one, can't even reach out to the other side. Now here we have this double sink. And actually I was wondering, why would you need two sinks? What is your response, guys? I would like to know because some people that were in this house today said that this space would be for your ice in the summer. So here you can keep your drinks nice and cold. But some said that this would be for your dirty dishes and this would be for your clean, clean dishes. So I don't actually know the correct answer. I would like to know. But anyway, it's always nicer to have two sinks rather than one, isn't it? And check out this matte sink from Shock. Love the black design of it. Now stepping around, I'm gonna step around the kitchen and just notice this floor to ceiling sliding doors, which lead us to the swimming pool area, which is now dark. Yes, all right. So that's it for the kitchen. Now let's step over back to the landing area where we started this floor. Nice column with some mirrors, just in case you're leaving the house, check yourself out first and then head to your exit door, which is just over here. And here on the other side, you've got this gorgeous staircase, which we're gonna talk very soon, just after we check out the bedrooms. Look at this, guys. That brings us up to the upper floor with the main bedroom and downstairs to the whole entertainment zone with the games room, hammam, spas, gyms, and much more. But stay tuned for that. But before we go there, let's move on to this zone. Some wardrobe space with the LED lights automatically turning on. It smells really good. And I love this backsplash of this dark material contrasting well, basically those are two grays, two shades of gray. Not 50 shades of gray like the movie, but nearly. All right, first bedroom of this floor. Let's start from this space. So much details in this bathroom that I don't know where to start. Let's start from this walk-in shower. What do you think, guys, this is? Looks like an actual stone, right? But it's actually MSD which is fiberglass wood cladding, And they made it in a way so it's not hollow. So as you can hear, it's been done really well. Now gorgeous mirror with the LED lights behind and the sink made of natural stone, well actually four different natural stones incorporated with each other. And you have this bowl sink, which is a little bit hypnotizing. Makes you wanna turn on the water. All right, stepping back to this bedroom, oak flooring we have in the bedrooms throughout the whole of this house. It's super cozy and gives this warm feeling to this house and to the bedrooms. Now check out all this space. Wallpaper with this black little, I don't know what would you call it, an art. An art. It's an art. It's an art and actually it matches 
with the carpet and with the skirting of this bedroom. Let's go down, let's, let's step down and check out that here we have this wood skirting, but on the bottom we have the aluminium little black panel. So actually it prevents damage to the main skirting, which is, which is the wooden one. Even the carpet, the black, the beige, the black, the beige, Reese's lighting on the top, light fixtures hanging down on both sides of the bed, cushioned backdrop, plenty of pillows. In case you like many pillows like I do, couple one, one in between your legs, two under your head, and that makes a good night. An ottoman here in the middle, matching with the rest of the bedroom with these gray colors and this very warm duvet, nice. Even the duvets have been custom made by the Omeo design, so pretty much everything. And now we shall check out the second bedroom, which is just around the corner. Voila, the second bedroom of this floor. Even more of a generous size over here, a little bit of a different design. We've got the cushioned backdrop going all the way to the top of the ceiling. Love this texture. And the texture of this backdrop is actually the same like the bed not only the same like the bed but also the same like this chair which is your makeup area i actually love this makeup area this makes this bedroom the master bedroom of this floor on this side we've got a wardrobe throughout the whole of this wall plenty of space micro cement the same as the walls in this bedroom. We've got the continuation. Feels good. Love to touch micro cement. It's nice. Voila! Your wardrobe spaces. Let's open this up. Nice little sections. Dima, can you see the sections? Nice little sections for your socks your earrings or any little accessories that you might have. All right, no more sections over here. Like this backdrop, again, looks like marble. Gives you that stylish look to the wardrobe. And now let's step over into your ensuite bathroom. Automatically turned on light, did you see it? It turns on automatically as you walk in. Again, these decorations are just gorgeous. Looks like in some top quality furniture shop. Only here in Marbella. You've got this window here. Actually, it's a picture window. You can't open it. You can only see to the outside to see who is entering into your house because from there we can see the driveway. Now again, the same mirror over here these implementations of the natural stone and this hypnotizing bowl. Same backdrop here, the imitation of the stone and exactly the same shower as in the other one. So that we've already seen. Now we're gonna head up to the second floor and check out the master bedroom. Vamos! All right, and back at the staircase level, from here we are heading upwards, but before we do, I wanted to speak about the staircase itself. I'm sure you are already seeing it, gorgeous porcelain, looks like marble, and under each step, we've got the LED light, and that makes this staircase really powerful and gives this impactful feeling to it. If we look down, actually you can see it once you're upstairs, Dima will show you guys now, You've got this tree which just fills the whole space and yeah, makes this staircase look really opulent and vast. Downstairs there's a lot of really cool and special things waiting for us. But now let's run upstairs and check out the master bedroom. All right, Omeo design lamps. These are not just any lamps, check out the sizes. It looks like in a palace, doesn't it? They just fill this whole space, looks incredible. And now here, as I told you, we do have the main bedroom, but we also have another bedroom, which I think I didn't mention. So shall we check out the main bedroom first or the other one? 
Jima doesn't mind. So we're going to step into the main bedroom first. And here it's just insane. Check out the size of this space. I mean, there's so much to talk about. I, I don't know where to start. I'm going to start from the walk-in wardrobe because it's my favorite part of the bedroom. Vamos over here and let's check out this space. First of all, what I like most about the space is this carpet. It's super cozy, isn't it? You've got this space in the middle here. And Tima, come closer. So let's show everyone the inside details, which just nicely slides off. And it looks like you are in some boutique shop, choosing yourself a nice little scarf or a belt or whatever else that you want. What I also love is this mirror that I, I love it. It's floor to ceiling with this little touch of the porcelain, just like the staircase. And it's, a, it's an amazing place to get ready, choose your shoes, your dress, and then head out. This space also connects us to the outside terrace. We are gonna head to this outside terrace from the, um, from the main part of the bedroom. But now, yeah, let's once again just see the volume of this space. Recess lights on the ceiling and built-in sonos speaker, even in your walk-in wardrobe. You can also close it off if you want to be a little private with these pocketing doors and be separated from your main space. Now, here we are in the main space, your living your, excuse me, your bedroom. And here's this little space for your magazines or potentially books, okay? We've got boats, we've got Forbes, we've got many, many nice magazines. Now check out these light fixture guys and all these details, even this horse. I love it. The cushioned backdrop of the bed. The size of it is just immense. And it's actually the same material as this ottoman and the whole bed itself, king size. This is huge. This is enormous. You can lie in whichever way you like. And even if you are that kind of girl who takes 90% of the bed, in this bed, your husband will still be happy. So, nice bed. <laughs> now let's step into your bathroom in the day. We've transported ourselves in the time so you can guys appreciate the space with all the views that it has to offer. Picture window right in front as soon as you enter behind your free standing bathtub copper fittings. On my right we have this gorgeous vanity design, one piece porcelain and this kind of elevation that it has so the water goes down from these lovely copper fittings. Two mirrors underlit with the recess lighting that we've got in the wooden panels above me. Now here we've got some built-ins. I love these little shelves. And even if you see that the LED light here is got this pink gentle color. So when you shower in the night or take a bath, it's nice and gentle and doesn't hit your eyes. Now on the other side over here, we have the same backsplash of the porcelain just looks like marble. Just to remind you guys, we are in the nest, designed by Omeo and built by Palmera. So that's your feature wall, your toilet, your vanity sink setup. And now, shall we step into the shower? Dima, please come in with me and show everybody the size of the shower. We've got this little recess spaced here with the indirect light and just a nice space and now stepping to the left we have the free standing bathtub with a picture window leading us to this dramatic today views with the clouds mountains golf course and the lake incredible place to take a bath and just enjoy these views even do you know if you come closer we'll be able to see the sky just like in America we have Hollywood here we have the sky in La Quinta. So that would be a place where you would take a deep relaxation and enjoy your wellness in your private and sweet bathroom. Now that is all for this and sweet space. And now we will step into your private balcony of this master bedroom. Follow through 
guys with me and check out the views. From here we can see the fire pit downstairs, the actual nest. We saw that downstairs in the sunset light and now you get to see it in the rays of the morning sun. Now here you can see some outdoor furniture, the same one as we saw downstairs, a little marble table. Here it would be your second part of the terrace which belongs to your walk-in wardrobe. So throughout the whole of your master bedroom you've got the terrace which connects all the three parts. And now let's step back inside to see the second bedroom of this floor. Firstly on my right hand side we have the ensuite bathroom. Let's quickly step in to see this picture window leading us to the outside of the house, to the front of the property. The same shower with the MSD cladding, the tinted glass, the walk-in shower, the gorgeous vanity set up with this hypnotic stone, the same as we saw in the other bedrooms. Now this bedroom has this grey design starting from the bathroom. Now we see this again artistic wallpaper with these black touches, the grey cushioned backsplash of the bed. Here we have the micro cemented walls and the marble lamps on both sides. On the other side we also have a window. A window, oops, actually it tilts, well that would make sense since there isn't any balcony, so you can tilt up the window for some fresh air. You've even got nice natural flowers, these are actually real. And on the opposite side, the last part of this bedroom would be the continuation of the wallpaper in these art pieces over here with this black design and the black frame. Love it. Now the micro cement actually continues through into your wardrobe. So it's got the same texture to it. Again, we've got the indirect lights and the dark splash of the inside of the wardrobe. Now that would be it for your upper floor. Now you have two bedrooms here, the private terrace and the beautiful views of La Quinta. Now we've got one last floor to show you guys, which is the floor minus one with all the entertainment area. Vamos! But before we continue further with the tour, I'm going to mention some specs about this house. First of all, we are located on a plot of 1,754 square meters with the internal build of 527 square meters. This home features five bedrooms and eight bathrooms and it's currently on the market for just under 5.2 million euros. And now let's get back to the tour. And here we are. You've got to admit that I love walking in the staircase, especially coming down, very impactful feeling because you also have the backsplash of the porcelanosa on the other side of the staircase looks amazing. And now stepping down we have this tree giving some life and color into the space. First of all off to my left there is a laundry room which is actually also made by Clive Christian. The same design as the upstairs. We've got the laundry, we've got the washing machine and all the equipment you would need for your laundry room. And now I'm standing in front of the space with a little elevation and that would be your, let's check it out, your punishment area. This is where you go where you, when you've been behaving bad. No, but seriously, this could be your, what do you think guys? What could it be? Your sitting area where you would maybe wait for your laundry to be finished so you can put it in the dryer or just hang it. Now, opposite starts this kind of wooden-like feature which goes throughout the whole of the wall, but it is not wood, it is MSD again, fiberglass resin, so this is basically fiberglass covered with resin, doesn't look like it. And in this wall we have three surprises for you, three hidden doors. But before we check out the hidden doors, let's step into this zone, which would be your wine tasting area. We've got the climatized wine cellar. At the moment we have 17 degrees. Dima, can you show everybody that we have 17 degrees in this wine cooler? Now let's step into this coldness. Now the value of the wines in this space is valued at 15,000 euros. All right, but 
the buyer who purchases the house gets a discount and can actually get all this wines for just 11,000 euros. So you're basically saving yourself four grand. Good deal, right? So that would be it. And opposite would be your space where you'd probably serve the wines, maybe do some wine tasting. Not in these glasses, but in the ones right above. We've got the suspended space where you've got all the glasses ready to be served with the best wines from your bodega. Six chairs so you can basically have six guests trying on your wines and then make them find a hidden door which is hidden in this wall. Now, where do you think it is? Tima, do you know where it is? Yes, I know. <laughs> all right, but now the point is that actually, I don't. All right, guys, here is your first hidden door. Voila, welcome into your official spa gymnasium. Let's close off this door, be surrounded by all the mirrors. And now here is your official gym area, Hammam. Let's explore the Hammam first, which is filled with this copper mosaic from Porcelanosa, black design, again, imitating of a kind of a cave vibe black and gold, very stylish and modern. Looks like a real cave. And now off through here, we have a gym. You have where you can train your muscles in all ways and forms that you like. You have the machines ready here, mirrors, LED light strip, nicely running and wrapping around on the wall here. Two squash racket, correct me if I'm wrong, is this squash racket? I think so. Nicely underlit with the LED lights. Great space. And from here you have your ensuite bathroom, again with this dark, cavey feel of the MSD material. And now you must step inside, so let's show everybody the toilet. A black design toilet. So the space is very stylish. Even the toilet matches with the backsplash of the wall and with the vanity setup. The incline of the vanity looks incredible how the water just disappears. Let's check it out. I had to do it. And now let's step back in outside and go forward into this space. Your official spa. Looks like we are in a hotel and I'm just gonna pass you the towel and you can head over into your shower with two shower heads and two handles. So you can both shower at the same time with your friend or your partner. You have this recess space with the LED lights. Again, this black tiles, this, this space, this whole gym is basically black and gold style. And now, shall we step back outside, close off this hidden space? Check this out, guys. You literally wouldn't be able to tell where this door is. There is absolutely nothing that's directing you. So you just have to go blindly pushing and seeing where it moves, all right? And let's continue with the second hidden door. Welcome into the most stylish bathroom I've seen in any house we've ever toured. Voila, three floor to ceiling mirrors, green ceiling that has been cut out especially so that the door can open and the design can stay as it is. Lovely textured wallpaper, two inbuilt features with this woman and the same wallpaper on the back, oak framing, love this space. Floor to ceiling vanity setup with the marble inside, the copper touches. And you know, if you come back inside, I want to show everybody how this sink works. So because even the sink itself is freestanding, here on the wall we have this fitting. Voila! Makes you want to wash your hands. Stay nice and clean in this bathroom for sure. Love the space. Everything just makes sense. And now let's close off this door 
and find another hidden door, which would be right off to my left. This would be your bedroom, your main bedroom, the only bedroom on this floor actually, guest bedroom or service bedroom or just a bedroom of whoever wants to be sleeping on this floor. We've got these two light fixtures, the cushioned beige backdrop, now micro cemented walls, continuation of the wardrobe with the same design, the micro cement, large space, floor to ceiling, mirror here, so you can check yourself out before you step out into your entertainment area, which is what we're gonna do right now. And here in the middle, we have a game about which existence I didn't know about before coming into this house today. It's a Swedish game called Shuffleboard board, and the rules of this game, as I was told, is basically so that you push this uh, round thing on this board as much to the end as you can without letting it fall off this wooden piece into this dark piece. If it falls, you lost. And the one who goes further wins, all right? So we're gonna guys show you now a little game. I'm gonna warm up and all right that wasn't bad and now my opponent Dima will see if he can beat me let's see he has to beat oh oh I think I think that makes me win happy but even if I lost I wouldn't be sad you never lose you learn right so now let's step onto this zone of this entertainment area, which would be your living space with this large beige sofa in the middle, fluffy carpet, lovely coffee table in the middle with chess, so you can, after your Swedish game, play some chess, watch some TV, put on your bioethanol fireplace and enjoy the space in full. Love the ceilings as well with the moldings, the recessed LED lights underneath, give this ambient to this floor, that's for sure. Now stepping forward and talk more about these two gorgeous retro spaces which are recessed into the wall with the backsplash of the micro cement and all these lovely decorations. Some more alcohol to add up to the wine that we've already seen in your bodega. I love these two spaces and the micro cemented walls, everything in this space just makes sense. And now here we've come to the end of the tour for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the nest as much as I did. We'll leave more information about this property down in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe if you wanna see more properties like this. And once again, I would like to thank Super Garage from Puerto Banos for lending us their Lamborghini Hurricane to come into this incredible property. If you ever want to buy a car, rent a car or anything to do with cars here in Marbella, make sure to reach out to them. Once again, thank you for staying with me until the end and I will see you next time. Bye guys.